go. What's up, cousin? What's poppin'? What's going on in the life of a Virgo between the 1st and the 15th of February? <laughs> Y'all know I'm country. February. <laughs> hey, boo, hey. If this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, let me go ahead and get this little disclaimer up front. I cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, okay, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube here who can resonate with you better without cussing, all right? To uh, the new members of the family, hey, boo, hey, new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We a bit dysfunctional. We don't fuss. We don't fight, though. We leave that shit on other people's channel, but we do share, grow, love, and lighten, as well as evolve here. Posi vibes only. Family up. What's popping? Hey, these shifts been something, huh? I was really, really, I, I had to go ahead and get my mutables out because I wasn't able to get to your lunar eclipse video due to, <laughs> oh, my good hood difficulties, okay? Crazy shit, but you know what? We're going to keep it moving. We're always going to keep it moving. Them low lows won't keep me down, all right? So with that said, um, you guys, after meditating on your energy, um, the strong strong uh, messages that I got with you guys was fair outcomes of uh, decision, final decision, karmic endings, okay? I got life partner, the unexpected, unbothered, checkup, divine protection, catalyst. I also got detox. I got heart chakra and I got kidney. Okay, so and it kind of coincides with the actual uh, crystal oracle card with the crystal oracle card message by Doreen Virtue that you guys pulled. All right. For the month. So this will be for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Virgo between the 1st and the 15th of December. This is just a general reading. It may or may not resonate with everybody. Take what does leave the rest. If you need a personal, I'm only accepting emergency readings during this time up until the 3rd of February, all right? So if you need that, it will be the same day within a two-hour maximum wait, but we can get it popping, all right? I am available currently. So um, without further ado, y'all, let's get into it, all right? Uh, while um, actually shuffling the cards and actually meditating on the energy, you guys, uh, what kept coming out was the King of Swords. So I definitely feel like you guys are pretty much straight shots, no chases. I'm going to tell you what it is at this point. I'm going to tell you what I expect, and I don't want shit else. Nothing nothing more, nothing less than what it was the hell that I told you. I'm going to let you know my expectations. I'm going to say this shit one time, one time only, because I already said it seven. So hopefully you motherfuckers can uh, matriculate the following line to get left. All right? I also uh, got the King of Wands that fell out. So this could involve either Gemini, Libra, Aquarius or uh, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, but I definitely feel there was some form of a reconciliation or someone kind of making a decision to reconcile. And I, I felt the energy of one person making the decision to reconcile and one person, I'm not going to lie, I felt a malice intent, okay? So I feel the need for you guys, and I feel that that's why I got the divine protection. Just know that you are protected. I definitely feel that if you are reconciling with someone or someone is coming back to reconcile, I'm going to be honest with you, I felt the 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 energy of a boss hog. I'm from the south. So what boss hog mean is bow garden. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like literally coming in and just busting up, fucking your shit up, okay? Just fucking it up. Don't go to jail, all right, Virgo? Because I definitely feel um during this time tempers could be flared, all right? But you guys got bigger fish to fry because there's a focus on your health, your wellness, as well as uh before recording this, it was right at two two two. So this is gonna be a very harmonious time for you all. A time of the re restructure, renew rebirth, reorganize, you know, um, for some of you all reconcile, you know, and with that, it's not what you do, it's how you do it, and either, I don't know if this is your energy or the external energy that I'm feeling so heavily, but I feel like somebody's very fucking arrogant, and they had no idea how sharp your sword is, so that take it who, that's for who that resonates with, y'all comment, let me know. Oh, also, thank you for the likes and shares, the comments. Y'all appreciate it. I truly do. Thank you for allowing me to share my life with you all. Um, but yeah, let's get into this February message, though. All right, so Virgo, the uh, or the crystal oracle card message that you guys pulled was is Jade Wellness. The recovery of health and wellness is here. For some of you all, I'm literally feeling like mental illness, like somebody was literally driving you up the damn wall and making you lose your shit. Do you understand? And I'm, when I say your shit, I mean your mental shit going off the rockers. Bananas, baby. It's bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. That shit was bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. 
<laughs> All right, Stris, so what messages did you have for my beautiful cousin, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Virgo from the 1st to the 15th of February? In love. Thank you. All right, so through the issue, yes, you guys are overburdened. You know, during this time, a lot of you guys may feel like you're carrying all the weight. I'm taking care of the kids. Hell, I got to go to work. I got to then you expect me to come home and cook and have the audacity to ask me what that booty do. I mean, what are you going to do? What the hell is your part? Okay. Virgo, a lot of you guys are carrying things that is just truly not your part. Spirit is literally trying to push you off the, force you to walk the plank during this damn time. Okay. To make you take that leap of faith and truly trust in your abilities to be successful by yourself. Some of you guys... Some of you guys have also been having dreams. You really needed to trust your dreams as they are very revealing during this time, okay? But some of you guys could actually be cutting someone off during this. They go this damn king of swords again. Some of you guys could actually be cutting someone off due to feeling stagnant during this time. You feel like, you know, I could do bad all by my damn self. I don't need help doing bad shit. Up. So, so I, you know, literally got it out the mud myself. Some of you guys may... um may feel that a situation is stuck due to finances or someone actually being selfish with their finances, okay? But I definitely feel like, or you may feel stuck to a job or stuck in an occupation or stuck with someone due to financial um, uh, ties or some type of, um, like, some type of, like, as, like uh, asset ties, some type of a commitment or a marriage or this could even be co-parenting okay but I definitely feel like uh, there's a need for equal give and take here or somebody else is finna get ghost okay I definitely feel that um Virgo a lot of you guys are really needing to trust your intuition some of y'all could be dreaming about random children and for some of you all who are married or who have been connected to someone for quite some time this definitely feels like um like a telepathic connection that you have with someone. Some of you guys could literally be traveling to other dimensions and kind of getting the tea of what's going on here within the 3D. All right. But some of you guys, that leap of faith, jump off the cliff, Virgo. It's okay. All right. Some of you guys are really uh, needed to take a, le a leap of faith into new love where there's equal give and take. Okay. For some of you all, you're dealing with the sign of Aries. For some of you all, so, you, know, you could be dealing with, um, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, strong emphasis on the Pisces, as well as the sign of Libra. But I definitely feel that there's not an equal give and take here in Virgo than just by had a damn mess. I feel that um, someone is kind of resisting an offer, okay, due to the fact that they're focusing on their damn finances, okay? I definitely feel like, um, <clears throat> Virgo, some of y'all could also be going through some going through a period of insomnia okay there's a need for a lot of y'all to detect detox and truth detox what the hell detox and truly 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 ground and protect your energy during these shifts because a lot of you guys are telepathically connected to someone and for some of y'all looks to be this person could be a karmic partner um as well as your twin flame connection so y'all got a lot of a, a lot of synchronistic shit going on as well. Something about the number two during this time. The number two is going to be very significant to Virgos. The number three for some of you all and the number six for others. Um, but yeah, there is some truthful communication coming very, very, very unexpectedly to someone, to some of you all. This could involve a Gemini, a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Okay. It could also be coming from a past partner or something that, it's, uh, something that occurred in the past while you were um, committed to someone, all right? This is definitely, a, we could be involving children as well, but I definitely feel like it's a love scenario where someone could have been dealing, someone could, you could be connected to your partner and this person could have had an outside person, which is, which looks to be a karmic partner to them. However, this person literally had to go out and find out the grass is, wasn't greener on the other side. And not only did they find out about the grass, but they asked planted some soil that they're really unsure about. All right. Let's talk about this. Maybe baby, let's get it. All right. Yeah. We going there because I literally see there being an issue with um, really moving forward or an issue in reconciling or forgiving someone because someone is trying to tell a partial ass truth. And during this time, whether it's coming in your dreams, telepathically, from spirit, through synchronicities, a lot of you all are getting the clarity that you need in order to take that leap of faith and release yourself uh, from toxics, from karmic cycles, all right? It's kind of getting rid of that damn debris that came in with you from 2018, but a lot of you guys are moving. Some of you guys literally have been like, I feel the sense of like boiling, like boiling 
So some of y'all are literally boiling because I feel like you've been holding some truth or holding some information that you already knew about someone due to the fact that you are um, financially tied to this person. Maybe you need this person to assist you in moving. I do see a, moving, a movement coming. So for those of you who have been feeling very overworked, overburdened, possibly because you share a household with someone where you have to give equally to a situation, but maybe this person is not doing so, Spirit is giving, throwing you a catalyst situation with the exposing of someone's fucking little skeletons in their damn closet to move Virgo forward because one monkey will not stop the damn Virgo show. All right? I don't give a damn if it's 12 monkeys. Y'all not finna dance on my my parade, huh? Laugh at that, he he that, ha ha that, big fella. Okay, I definitely feel like yeah. If you take that leap of faith into the unknown, baby, you definitely have new creative endeavors that are going to get off the ground. Whatever it is that you've been working on, whatever it is that you've been putting your creative pursuits towards or your creative energy towards, is definitely going to pay off in a massive way. But everybody can't sit at your table. Okay, I definitely feel like some of y'all could also be dealing with the legal system. But you guys got communication coming in very fast. And for some of you all, you aren't even looking for it. Virgo was minding their own damn business. Minding their own damn business. And then they find out that they was dealing with a fuckboy by association and synchronicities and spirit just really dropping salt on people. Because I definitely feel like some of y'all got to understand if you felt that you didn't feel it for no reason. And understand that people lie, not spirit. Do you understand? All right, so let's get into some clarifies. What's going on with Virgo? But yeah, some of you guys could also be reconciling with someone from your past after a form of truth and clarity. This person could also be a Taurus, or some of you guys could be receiving some fast, fast, some fast moving communication regarding someone having a family situation. If you want to know why someone hadn't made a clear cut decision and they've been in and out of your life and their moves have been a little iffy, it's simply because this person could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And some of y'all, if this person is tied to a, um, it's tied to a Leo, but some of y'all, you could find out if this person, some of you guys could have been in a third party situation where someone was telling you that they was going to leave somebody. And not only are you going to find out that they're not leaving this person, but you're going to find out that they have a new baby on the way. Okay. This could have already happened, but this person, I feel like is still giving you the runaround and the, and, and, but I feel that some of y'all are going to piss this person off. And in the midst of wrath, this motherfucker going to truly tell you how they feel to you get, we, to the point where you just be like, so you mean to tell me you wasted, wasted my time? You didn't just lie, but you lied with the knowing and you gave me this little fake ass illusion of hope with knowing what you were doing. It wasn't like you un you, inten you unintentionally did this, but there's something regarding um, a revelation of truth. And it's definitely going to rock a lot of y'all worlds, but it is, again, it's the catalytic situation in order to move you forward towards your life purpose, your life partner, where you're supposed to be. For some of you all, it does involve holistic. I'm literally here in Medicine Woman. This is the damn, the camel, the, this is the straw that broke the camel's back to move you towards your path because a lot of you all, let's truth be told, have been distracted for quite some time. And there's a need for you to focus on you, focus on building and gaining your own stability, first and foremost, and don't allow other people to keep you stagnant on hope, okay? Because some of y'all have been dealing with a Capricorn towards Virgo, and I feel like this person's inability to commit to you has some damn skeletons in the closet around it that you guys are going to be finding, finding out about. Some of you guys could also be uh, charging in possibly to an air sign, um, or this person could also be a Leo. But I definitely see, and if you're dealing with the sign of Leo, I do see there being love here. But I also see there being a lot of pride here, omitted truths. If you omit the truth, if your ass leave out of part, if you're still lying. And I feel like somebody who y'all dealing with really don't get that part. Spirit, why is the food car here? Why is the food car here for my Virgo? Yeah. Some of you guys, some of you guys want to give a solid offer. Some of you guys are wanting to, um, some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Aries. And I feel like it's a level of equal give and take with this person. Some of you guys feel like you have to carry all the weight, carry all the emotions, carry all the burden, but it is going to pay off. Don't feel that your fruits have gone. Hold on. Don't, 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 wait. Don't you know how you say some shit and it sounded awesome in your head, but then when you get ready to say it, it just brain fart? Don't, don't feel like your seeds have gone, you know, Un, 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 unfruitful, the, the, as, as if your seeds aren't fruitful, because they are, 
But for some of you all, you've done that work to gain the experience, to gain the knowledge. Also, there was a lesson in self-worth and what you will and will not allow. So no time is wasted time. It just gave you enough time to, to, to know the ins and outs and the will nots and won't nots and what got me fucked up and what don't. You know, just how you choose to look at it. But you guys are really needing to trust your intuition. Intuitively, you know you got to cut somebody off in order to move forward. And it's really breaking your heart. And for some of you all, due to the fact that you love this person. But if you're dealing with a Leo, it's communication issues. And that's that they're a past life partner, first and foremost. Some of y'all dealing with the sign of Taurus, that's a past life partner. The sign of Leo, that's a past life partner. The sign of Sagittarius, that's a past life partner. The sign of... um. Aries, I feel like this person could be from your past or a past lover or someone who you kind of go in and out with. But I definitely feel like some of you guys definitely want to offer something solid to an Aries person. And I feel like if this person is accepting, but some of y'all are very afraid of being uh, rejected or maybe this person is. And some of y'all, somebody don't want to apologize, but you're going to get that apology because it's tied to some type of financial, some type of financial um outcome as well that I'm feeling. So for those of you who have been trying to hold your peace due to the fact that you wanted someone to provide financially, if you do have a, any type of open court case, I do see it going in your favor. And not only that, I also see that for those of you who are who are committed to someone with separating from someone, you just want things to be fair. And I do see fair outcomes. Spirit, why is the high priestess here? Why is the high priestess here? Yes, yeah, some of you guys you're afraid to take that leap of, uh, the leap of faith with that fire sign. Some of you guys have really been in your head about some shit intuitively that you already know. You already know. Why are you beating yourself up for something you already know? Come on, cousin. We gonna do better. Some of y'all really need to detox. And some of y'all could also be receiving some information regarding your health and wellness. But it's going to require for a uh, thank you spirit. Stop drinking substance. Some of y'all are really overdoing it during this time due to stress, anxiety. Yeah, some of you guys, some of you guys feel stuck in a family situation due to somebody having some type of, again, financial control. You've kind of been in your head. You really want to gain your own independence, and I do see it coming forward, an opportunity. Yeah, some of you guys are dropping the burdens. You're releasing the burdens, and, it, and in doing that, it's going to bring the balance in which you need to move forward as well as manifest what it is that you truly want in love, okay? And not only manifest what you truly want in love, but to be able to wholeheartedly walk away from the past, past perspectives, past way of doing things, to the things that we accepted in the past. No, no, no. <laughs> Let me show you how sharp my sword is. Why is the hierophant here? And some of you guys are moving right into commitment after leaving the toxic person behind. Who put you in three party situations, okay? So some of you all, you're gonna receive some type of communication that this um this Taurus Virgo Capricorn, strong emphasis of the Taurus or someone who um was trying to pursue you. This person was trying to kind of I see a fire sign, strong Sagittarian energy trying to come in and out. And you guys gonna pull out your course, set clear boundaries. Look, your ass gonna be in and out. Don't keep opening up my door. Your ass letting the flies in now. Shit. <laughs> Some of y'all have new babies. You're going to find out about pregnancies. Congratulations. That's going to help you assist you into putting the bottle down, okay? Yeah, I went there because we family. I can go there. But, yeah, some of you guys are holding on to, some of you guys have a Leo that's holding on to you. Or you could have a Leo that's holding on, a Leo. Some of y'all are dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who's attached to a Leo, okay? And this person they could have children with, all right? This could also be a Taurus attached to a Leo, someone who they have children with. Some of y'all, Matt is not the sign. Some of y'all dealing with somebody who you in love with, but they have a family and a big decision to make because I feel like you make them happy, but tradition makes them feel... Tradition makes them feel like they have a purpose, even though they're not genuinely living in their authentic truth towards their purpose. You know what I'm saying? Why is this Ace of Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Yeah. But some of you all, you're going to, yeah, some of y'all are going to find out that this person is in and out of your life offering love because they having a hard time detaching. They're resisting the offer and resisting actually giving you that commitment because with the commitment, they're going to have to give you the truth. And in giving you that truth and in receiving that truth that's coming fast moving, whether they like it or not. Because there's a purging happening. That damn lunar eclipse really, really opened up the damn gates of 
<laughs> all true. All shots, no chases. But some of you guys have this fear. Some of y'all got a fear of actually being successful by yourself because you've never lived it. It's the fear of the unknown. And you really needed to face your shadow side during that time with that fear because it's not existent. It's an illusion. And if you feel that you're not going to be independent, yeah, there is independence. And for some of you all, in the midst of you actually gaining that independence and knowing you have it, then the same person is going to want to come and offer you something. But it's up to you what you achieve, what you choose to allow. Yeah. No. Sorry, y'all. Oops. It's up to you what you choose to allow. Fix that. Who's there? Because I definitely see. I definitely see once you gain that independence from this person. Then they're going to want to come back and offer that equal give and take. And then there's actually chances of a reconciliation and it actually materializing into something positive. But you guys are really, really, really going to stand firm in your beliefs, be true to yourselves, move not on fear and on doubt because it's going to, it's going to truly, 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 truly prevent you from really moving. It ain't real, baby. And it's okay to love and it's okay to jump off the cliff. Without being afraid that someone's going to hurt you. That fear of the unknown is normal. But it's a part of the journey that we have to hurdle that. Because it keeps us from really, 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 truly being able to grab on and hold on to the things that's truly meant for us. Don't be afraid to leave some shit that don't appreciate you or don't love you the same way that you love it. It's only fair. You're worth that. You are gold, baby. Know that, all right? So that's what I have for my Virgos from the 1st to the 15th of, Feb of February. If you need a personal reading, that information will be found in the description. I love y'all a long time. Peace and blessings, y'all. Namaste. Bye, babies.